Hey, welcome back everybody to Darkest Dungeon. No luck acquiring a new Plague Doctor, sadly. Not a Plague Doctor, but a Grave Robber. We have a brand new Plague Doctor in the form of Vane. And Stanley! Good old Stanley. Down here at the bottom. Gonna have to bring them all up. Up from the ground from whence they came. Still gonna make some progress up here as well, of course. For the top tier folks. And, uh, you know what? I might go for another champion level mission here. Might kind of push my limits, see what I'm capable of now. A good old-fashioned cleanse with some busts to celebrate. We are playing on a new patch tonight, by the way. A few, uh, mostly aesthetic changes, I think. It also said that the bosses would no longer spawn randomly in the patch notes, but sh well, that's uh, apparently not the case. As we have two available- ooh, look at this. A berserk mask. Oh, snap. Do we need to go kill us a swine prince? I bet we could. I kind of want. Oh man, I kind of want to get that and just throw out a whole bunch of newbies. See if we can make some magic happen here. Also, apparently there's some aesthetic changes with the uh, with the upgrades to your weaponry. So if we look at that, we can see. Ooh yeah, look at this. You can totally tell. Look at the difference between the occultist level three and the occultist level five. Oh, that is cool. Oh, I like that. I like that a lot. Look at the difference here between level 0 and level 5. The armor has not yet changed, but the weapons have, and oh, I like it a lot. It's weird how satisfying that is. Like, that little hue around the wolf's tooth is so nice. Let's build a nice crew here. Let's see if we can take on a level 1 swine prince with this uh, regular old-fashioned build here. If we took out Mortagna, he could kind of carry us with the heels and then... Could get some stress relief with the Jester. Or maybe we need some more damage. How about a Crusader as well? We'll take him. Yeah, I'll take a Crusader out. A mighty sword arm anchored by holy purpose. A zealous warrior. Now sadly this does mean we're not really able to uh, upgrade these guys very much. We should definitely allow them to have pretty much any, uh, any attack that they want. Any skill that they could possibly need going through these dungeons. Let's go ahead and unlock everything, and then we'll take them over to the survivalist as well and unlock some of their camping skills, because we will have two camping opportunities, and that could make the difference. You know what? We got the money to burn. Let's just unlock everything. Well, that might actually cost too much. Let's be a little bit more reasonable than that. Uh, we'll get an encourage. We'll get a zealous speech, I suppose, and then Stanley, I think, has got some good ones. Uh, he can heal himself. Ooh, that's actually a very nice self-buff. Self-heals, mostly. 40% heal and stress for- Oh, that increases stress. Oh, I'm crazy. I can't read well. He's got most of his good ones already, though, so this is fine. And then Mortagne, I think, needs to get a little help here as well. Band and Hope, Pep Talk, and Wound Care. I'm gonna go ahead and unlock that one. We'll see what we can do. He's got four skills. Uh, Bloody Shroud is probably not necessary, but he's got his two best ones already anyway, so it's not that big of a deal. Uh, let's check out on Fraumann. Give him, let's give him zealous speech ahead of, oh wait, he's already got four? Oh, alright then, that works out. And then Vane, needs to unlock one more, let's go with, uh, let's go with leeches. I like leeches. Leeches are my friends. Okay, that'll do. Check the trinkets, of course. It's gonna be one of the most important elements of doing this successfully, and that's gonna be pretty tough. All things considered. I'm gonna give Stanley a focus ring, actually. That seems pretty damn good. And then, maybe even a life crystal? Probably better off giving that to one of our more fragile characters, though. Actually, I think our play doctor might benefit from this. A little bit less uh, death blow resistance, but that's probably okay. Sniper's ring could be nice as well. If we could give that to somebody like, uh, yeah, you know what? We'll give it to Vayne. That works out pretty well. She got a Fraumann. If we put him in the front, which we could totally do, although that does take away Holy Lance. But that allows us to use Crusader's Orders, which we haven't really been doing up to this point. Or we could give him Paralyzer's Crest as well. Where did Crusader's Orders go? I swear we had one of those. It's hiding from me somewhere. I'm sure you guys have already seen it, but... I'm blind as a bat, apparently. Maybe we give him something else. How about Brawler's Gloves? That's pretty good. Oh, it doesn't actually affect his damage enough, though. Damn. It does not make a big enough difference. Hmm. Let's see. We can definitely give Stanley a Redemption Armlet in addition to this little ring. That's pretty damn good. 
Then Vayne's already got both of hers, Metagne's rocking- Ah, I'm definitely not gonna go with a Bloodthirst Ring, we're just gonna buy a whole bunch of food and let them have that. Let them have at it. How about some Dodge? That's pretty good, actually. And the Cursed Incense. I don't know why I have this. Why in the world is he wearing that? That's not good at all. That's terrible. We'll give him some more Dodge Chance and then, uh... I don't know. We got anything specific to them? I think we got some occultist stuff, don't we? Maybe we didn't. Scouting chance would be nice. Let's go for this. Try to scout ahead a little bit more, and then Framan needs two things. You know what? I kind of like that. Gives him a basically 0% crit chance, but it does give us a really big buff to our stuns. And if we could stun the swine prince over and over... Actually, I kind of want to do that. Let's try that out. That might be fun. Okay. So this is going to be interesting. Pretty much only leveling up Mortagne, and then, well, I guess while we're doing this, we might as well start to take care of a few of our lower level guys. Mostly I want to do this so I can bring out some uh, slightly stronger people as soon as we get our Grave Robber in that way. It's not going to be an, an impossible task getting her uh, back up to a decent territory. Hyromania is probably worth taking care of. Faithless and Enlightened, not really that bad. Uh, Torn Rotator Cuff, I definitely got to address that. And then Chartres might have something here. He's got Bloodthirsty, which I don't like at all. Zoophobia is a little bit worse, though, so we'll get rid of that. How about Torn of it? Stress Eater, not that bad. Uh, Gambler Thanatophobia. How's that Shrill looking? I don't think I brought him out in a while, actually. How about Fushol? Egomania. We'll get rid of that one as well. And we'll go ahead and throw Atoru into the, uh... Oh, wait. He's got to He's got to go somewhere specific, doesn't he? Yeah, he's got to go to the Gambling Hall. The thrill of winning. Okay. This will be fun. A long mission, but a Berserk Mask is totally worth it. Let's go with... Boom, bam, bing, bomb. Make sure they've got the proper skill set as well. I'm uh, gonna take off with Stan, give him a hue, and then we'll uh, remove Intimidate and give him Revenge. Which is one I've grown a little bit more fond of lately. I like this set here for Framan. Switch Inspiring Cry with Holy Lance for now, and then she's got Incision, which I may end up using semi-frequently. I have to throw on Battlefield Medicine at some point, but we can start without it. Alright. Let's get two full stacks of food. Probably don't need torches. I don't imagine we have too many negative quirks to get rid of on these guys. So we'll bring three bandages, two venoms, a couple of herbs, and a holy water. No keys for us this time. The Swine Prince again in a long dungeon. And again, it's just for the experience primarily to get the guys that will be... Bringing out with the Grave Robber at some point up to a slightly higher level territory, and that way she's not having to carry through a on level zero. Abomination. A testament to my failures. It must be destroyed. So, I'll go ahead and explore a little bit. We'll see how tough this is actually going to be. I don't, I don't anticipate too much trouble. We got some decent buffs by way of these uh, trinkets as well, so here's hoping. Some pretty sweet damage already. Let's see how stronger incision is could kill the cultist brawler but maybe we want to go with something like a plague grenade against the swine drummer I give him blight but then again yeah why not try it out all right that's all well and good a uh, hue probably does him in confidence surges as the enemy crumbles Ooh, and there's that new animation to uh, indicate how much damage you've done with your attack i like that a lot it's part of the uh, it's part of the new update here. We're playing on that new patch, so we just guaranteed for ourselves that we are actually playing on that patch. That's always nice. But I like that change a lot, man. That is that is exceptional. Try to make it a little easier to take this guy down. It's a small little thing, you know, but it's very satisfying, very uh, very helpful to to see exactly what sort of an an, an, an impact Porky Pig has made on the situation. A faint hope blossoms. Very good, Stanley. Very good. This expedition at least promises success. Bright tambourine doesn't provide us with much, but... Glittering gold, trinkets and baubles. Paid for in blood. This certainly might. Oh my goodness. Okay, well we've got all the food we could possibly need, and we're probably just gonna end up eating to our heart's content here. We're gonna get real fat, man. That's what's gonna happen. We surprised the enemy again. All right, let's see what kind of strengths we've got in this lineup. I'm guessing the ability to stun is going to come in quite handy. He's got a base stun chance of 100% right now against enemies that have pretty normal 
looking resistances. Let's try to uh, maybe take one of these guys out in the back here. Decent damage there. We could go with some abyssal artillery if he's got it. Indeed, he does. Press this advantage. Give them no quarter. I really like that new animation there, man. It's quite nice. All right, should we go for it again, or we can maybe go for a vulnerability hex and take out the carrion eater? That sounds pretty good. A powerful blow. Very good, sir. Montagne, showing the young bloods how it's done. Setting off the. Uh, the chain reaction here, hopefully, very good things to come. I did not realize that could bleed. I'm pretty sure I've said that multiple times, though. Our Plague Doctor's not really working out so hot right now, but... That's okay. Closing in on that victory. Let's go for another Vulnerability Hex, perhaps. Ooh, not quite. Does reduce his dam- or dodge chance, actually. Let's try to let her get the kill. Just a small little dagger stab for your troubles. These creatures can be felled. They can be beaten. All right, well, might as well eat a whole bunch of food, and then you know what? I am actually going to go ahead and use a campfire here. Not something I frequently do, but figure we might as well. Deeply disturbed. The buff of 15% critically striking chance. My goodness. Ooh, we got a very nice scout here as well. There's some good treasures hanging around. Oh my god, 0% trap detect chance across the board for those two. 15% and then 30 for the occultist. I wonder who we're going with. That was nice. I like how he covers up his mouth before he does it. Just in case, you know. For a dude carrying around a skull in his hand, he certainly is worried a lot about germs. Let's, uh, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and do a little bit of exploring this time around. Oh, i got to switch him back as well. Can't forget about that. I don't know why I'm not just eating to my heart's content. Get our guys back up to full strength. Oh, snap. That didn't actually do anything, I don't think. Oh, damn, he's got Creeping Cough. I probably should have checked out all those quirks before I brought those guys onto the team. Darkness closes in, haunting the hearts of men. I think we'll be okay, though. Missile Artillery actually might even, uh... Ooh, he's got a 22% crit chance now with the blackest pitch going on. I like that quite a bit. All right, so if we can get a uh, double kill here with either a Hue or a... Zealous Accusation. Get the potential to kill the entire team in the first round here, although sadly they're taking most of their actions, so it's not like it's going to help me out that much. Let's go with the Plague Grenade. That takes out the back, and then probably, yep, that is going to kill the one in the third slot as well. Ooh, that stuns, though. Ah, damn. I think that's got a pretty high stun chance, actually. Alright, 4 to 9. 55% chance, which is not that great. Could focus, but... Ooh, baby! Never mind. It's all well and good. Executed with impunity. Now we could uh, use an anti-venom here. Probably not necessarily. Let's see how much he can uh, heal himself for. One. Well, that did the trick. Emboldening vapors for no reason on the leper. Let the guy blight to death. Prodigious size alone does not dissuade the sharpened blade. Hey, free anti-venom. All right, made my decision for me here. And then we get to eat, eat, eat all the way home. That's how that, uh, this little piggy went to market thing goes, right? I was a child once. Oh, we're actually down to, uh, two stacks of food again somehow. I guess when you just eat your troubles away, sometimes the pantry is empty. That's some, uh, deep philosophical thought for your Darkest Dungeon episode today. Ah, uh, they're gonna get a whole bunch of attacks first off, aren't they? And they get the stun. Dodge there by Vayne. I might go for a play grenade here if they've got... No, they've got 100% resist, so let's maybe... Oh, they're gonna resist that too. Jesus. All right, well, let's just go for some damage then, I guess. And the one that hasn't taken his action yet. Shoot! Not going well. All right, then. Well, a little bit of stress. How quickly the tide turns. A lot of bit of stress. Blow. But now we've taken care of it a little. Well struck. Thank you. Bye. Remind yourself that overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer. I think I can still afford to do this a little bit, although, well, no, we're not even that far in. I guess I should maybe be a little bit more conservative now. It's nice to have that, though. We do have that second campfire still, of course, which means we'll be able to reduce a little bit of this stress before we head into the. Swine Prince fight proper. 
I am going to go ahead and keep exploring here. I'm figuring my path is going to look something like that. When all is said and done. Take a chance on this as well. Oh, damn it, all the hell! The yips! Ooh, damn! His accuracy is seriously suffering. I am glad he has this unlocked at least. I'm probably going to have to rely on that. I am considering eating a little bit more food here, too. Okay, let's, uh... Let's see how we pass this resolve check here. Not, like, a literal one, but... In the circumstance of... I'm a little worried about our... Success chance. Moving forward. Not sure I gave her the best trinkets, either, but I suppose... We'll have to live with that decision for the time being. I do like this lineup quite a bit. I mean, obviously... Would prefer it to be a little further upgraded, but there's nothing much we can do about that right now. Ah, uh, you know what? I'm going to change up to Smite here and try to finish this guy off. There we go. I do like that option. We got the stun on the wretch, which is nice. The drummer is still alive. We might be able to take him out. Ooh, although, yeah, it's not very likely. Let's maybe try to uh, weaken this guy a touch. No, oh, he resisted it all, damn. We did get the Drums of Doom landing. Oh, the stress is starting to get up there. That concerns me quite a bit, actually. Damn, she's got bad accuracy, too, or she just sucks. One or the other, let the leper do the job for you, I guess. Man, that occultist, though. I needed him to carry the team, and he is doing his due diligence. Do, do, do that thing you doodly do. Uh, I don't know, man. I wish she had something that could help us out a little bit more here. Ask and ye shall receive, apparently, you uneducated swine. Smite him down for the kill. Yeah, Fromen. A trifling victory. But a victory nonetheless. Top Fromen. I don't even need this bright tambourine, so we're going to go ahead and dump that off. Oh, it's trapped. Oh, boy. All right, we're just going to take care of that real fast. And now, uh, just make our way forward, I guess. Tempted to use the campfire here, but I'm still trusting my gut. I think we can move forward without too much trouble, and now we're screwed! Hooray! <laughs> God damn it. Try to buff him up a little bit here. This is a pretty damn decent buff, all things considered, for how early on this is. What's his mobility look like? I don't think he's going to be able to do too much. I hope I can use the Holy Lance from this position, actually. Yikes. Alright, yeah, this is looking a little bad. Uh, we can move back to, probably for the best, allow him up to the front. 5 to 11, 61% chance. Damn it! Alright, he can Holy Lance from there, which is nice. That is good damage on the drummer as well. Hopefully we can do a, uh, either a Hex or an Incision to take him down before he gets another Drums of Doom off, which would obviously be bad news for us. Getting all these bleeds stacked and going as well, I need to, uh, allow her to have... Oh, shit. She can't reach them from there. Shizzle. I need to throw my battlefield medicine back onto her, otherwise... Things are looking pretty gnarly here. Probably want to use some bandages as well, actually. We'll go ahead and do that now. That's why we brought him. Alright, try it again. Very good. That's the damage we need. And then, unfortunately, he cannot Holy Lance from that position, so it's just another wasted turn for the Crusader. God damn! Oh, boy, this is usually where he comes in and tells me how sucky I'm being, but... I guess he kind of wants to take pity on me right now. That's a decent heal. That's going to be a third bleed stack, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, that's some... That's some high-level bleed right there. God damn. There we go, baby. That's what I like to see. All right. Another bandage. Don't want to let that stack up too much. Got it. As victories mount, so too will resistance. Pretty sure I've got plenty of, uh, fasting seals and bloodthirst rings. Let's go ahead and take off her play grenade, throw on battlefield medicine here. Actually, you know what? I don't like incision as much as I like play grenade. Noxious blast might be better, though. Yeah, we'll go with that. I haven't used disorienting blast in a while. I'm pretty sure I never want to, either. It's not really seem like it's entirely valuable. Alright, this is gonna be nice. Get a whole nother stack. Oh, that's gonna be a buff. Oh, that was dumb. Shoot, I didn't realize what I was doing. I thought that was another food cart. Alright, well, she's got a 30% damage buff. That's unfortunate. Not really who I'm looking to give that to, but... I suppose we'll make do. You know, I'm gonna take the time to go with revenge here. I think we need to make him a bit more powerful in order to take down this bloodletter. Let's maybe even emboldening vapors him. 
Actually, you know what? Blinding Gas is probably going to be better here. Hell yes. Might even be able to take these two out with a combination of these two. Using the Abyssal Artillery and maybe even keeping them stun-locked. We're just doing that. Oh, shit. And how about this? Let's try to use his stun buff for the first time. Get on the blood letter here. That's what I'm talking about. Okay. This looks good. All right. He's going to be buffed up and ready to go. Let's see what he unloads for. Probably around 10 to 15. Maybe even get a little bit of healing going on. Actually, let's target him, man. Give him that vulnerability hex. Yeah, baby. Oh, he is going to eat it. He is going to get a face full of leper sword right here. Stun him again, perhaps. Only 70 against 100. Not a very high chance. Let's go for the damage instead. Good hit, good hit. All right, man. What you got for me? 53% chance to hit, but a very good chance to kill at that. Oh, yes! The beast, the greater the glory. I love it. I love it, man. Wealth beyond measure. Awarded to the brave and the foolhardy alike. Well, probably not going to keep that bloodthirst ring, but I suppose I might as well throw it in the inventory for now. Not much going on in this hallway, which I am absolutely okay with. Oh, no more bandages, right? Probably not worth it. Well, might as well. Nice! Hey, look at that! With loot are often low on supplies. Not bad at all. Extra food's always good. In fact, we should probably go ahead and allow him to take a few of those. Back into slightly better territory there, health-wise. Alright, no scouts moving forward. Luckily, we do have the opportunity to just skip the rest of the dungeon and go for the uh, boss fight. If we so choose. Oh boy, okay. This is going to be our use of the holy water here. Purifies the altar and gets a big old stress reduction. Hell yes. Totally forgot that's what that does. Very useful, though. Oh, we got a scout. Okay. This may change my mind here. I don't know. I think we can do it. We don't need this much food still. I'm going to get him back up to pretty much full health. Still got a full stack of food. Even if we get one food activation. Oh, damn. I'll, uh, you know, I got, I got an anti-venom. I'll try it out. All right. That's why we took the risk. Okay, man. We got two fights if I decide to go this way, and it looks like I'm doing that very thing. Actually, three fights. Yeah, we got this one in the hallway, and then the last one in this room here. This one's not going to be easy, either. Reeling. About to break. We're going to have to do some serious stress reduction, it looks like. Although we do have Battlefield Medicine available now, so hopefully they won't get too injured. Vane's looking kind of worse for wear, though. Oh, and now we got the issue of her being stunned. Okay, this is, uh... They took all of their actions first, and this is... Very much not ideal for us. Oh, I love that, though. Alright, Mortagne was meant to carry us, and carry us he is. Right now, here and now, he is the man. Oh, God, and Stanley needs all the carrying he can get, apparently. Alright, that's not bad. That's not bad. See if I can get the kill in the swine driver. Very nice. Alright, four on two. Now we can handle this. Hopefully we get a battlefield medicine off. Would be very, very nice right now considering that double bleed stack. Ooh, still a lot of damage. Thank you for resisting that stun. I love that stun resist buff. Can't forget she's got that bonus damage too, as much as that's invaluable to us. There we go. Keep him alive. This guy is pretty much one hit away. Let's go for the bleed cure. There we go. All right, I really need some help for Vayne here. Thank you for not targeting her at least. Oh, great. Oh, that is wonderful. Hell yes. I judge thee guilty. If only treasure could staunch the flow of otherworldly corruption. Uh, I had a feeling about the trap there. Again, didn't bring any keys this time around. That was kind of an intentional thing. As I didn't really expect to have too many treasure interactions. I didn't really need them for that matter, so it's quite all right. Okay, this is the kind of fight I was hoping for, especially now. Very good. I might even try to take this opportunity to do a little bit of a uh, little bit of healing. Might be a good idea, actually. You know what? Let's embolden him real fast. We'll allow him to go for a heal on our plague doctor. There we go. Ah, oh, damn it. That's the risk you run, I guess. Boom, baby. Definitely go with Zealous here as well. Oh my God. One hit away. Please don't let him munch first. God dang it. Five damage and the blight. Jeez. Not what I want to see in the two health heals as well. 
God damn, freaking cure failed as well. Come on now. Come on now, help me. Help me, please. Not asking too much, man. Just make it a little more bearable. Ha ha ha. All right. Tell you what, we're eating a little more food here. Or can I afford to? Probably not. We just gotta focus on healing a little bit more. Hopefully these guys aren't all faster than us again. That would be bad. Okay, uh, surprise them? No, but we do get blanket fire. Nice dodges. Okay, that's good. We can all dodge bullets. It's extremely handy. Alright, it's not a terrible stun. I definitely need to heal her. That's what I'm talking about. Alright, back in fighting shape. Now... Let's try to take this guy. Oh, God. His accuracy is just abysmal right now. Yikes. Alright. Luckily, you're wearing that gorgeous body armor, but still a ways to go to get us into good territory here. Give me that crit. Ooh, I needed it that time. Oh, boy. Yeah, this campfire is going to be very, very useful here. Can't stun him again. Oh, a Holy Lance would be a really nice option here, actually. Let's try to kill this guy before he does much more. Yes! Ooh, that is helpful. All right. He has no action. I can stun him again, or I can try to at least, and it's a pretty good chance. Let's go for it. She's not helping too much otherwise with the Emboldening Vapors being her best bet, pretty much. All right. I ought to take some opportunities to heal here. Let's try to get this lever back up into better territory. Eight health is very nice. He is, uh, gonna remain alive. Let's give him a Noxious Blast. Oh, that is good! That is good damage right there, Vayne! Thank you very much. Oh, baby, he's going down! That's excellent, alright. Uh, can't do much with him, unfortunately his Holy Lance is not available this time, so I guess we just go for the guaranteed kill. A victory. Perhaps the turning point. Oh, that sucks! Alright, not too much damage. Can live with that. Very good. Finding the stuff is only the first test. Now it must be carried home. Now, unfortunately, let me tell you what. I'm gonna dump these off and take these crests. I don't have the herbs to clean, cleanse this thing, so I doubt I'm gonna take the risk. And by I doubt, I mean I'm sure. Oh boy. Whoa. Oh, okay, that's not the worst. I'm going to cure him of pretty much all of his ailments anyway. All right, let's go ahead and campfire. See what we can do. A spark without kindling is a goal without hope. He's going to eat all this food to get these guys back into good territory here. I'm going to go ahead and let him... Uh... Oh, I thought I had let the mask down, but we do have reflection, which is probably better. Given that accuracy buff that he so desperately needs. Uh, Self-medicate could be pretty good here. Heal her, reduce some stress. Chance to remove disease, and she doesn't have one, unfortunately. Uh, we've also got Dark Ritual. Dark Strength, which could be nice. In fact, we're gonna go ahead and give that to the uh, Crusader here. And then Zealous Speech... ...is pretty damn good, too. So we'll do that. Forget not that our errand is holy and just. And what else do we got left for two? The cost of two. Stress Resist for the Crusader is not bad. Let's go ahead and give him that. Okay. Looking much, much better now. No more food, just a little bit of a buff for our leper, pretty much, and then some damage on the Crusader as well. I think we'll be okay. We can mark targets with the Occultist. Oh boy, we got another fight, though. Oh goodness. And that's not good. Oh shit. Alright, well. We gotta hope for some pretty damn good results here. Oh, please pull him. Please pull him forward. Come on, man! Don't resist when you know it can help us! You piece of garbage! That's terrible. Okay. What do we do here? Zealous? Could kill the rabble. Son of a bitch. That's not a good start. Alright, let's try to stun her. Try to stun lock him a little bit until we can actually get these guys in a good position. Bring the leper back to the front. Alright, here we go. Let's go with... Let's try to heal him up, actually. Damn it! Ah, zero heal. Son of a gun. How does the leper continue to bleed? Do I stun again, or do I try to do a little bit of damage here? I think I need to help him out a little bit. These guys are not doing so hot right now. 
Okay, that'll work, that'll work. He's gonna be dead next turn anyway. He is hurting, though. Alright, let's try for a smite. Very good. If I could bring her to the front, that would be excellent, but no can do. Thank you, thank you so much, okay. That's helpful. Nice dodge as well. Alright, Motagne! Motagne, the man Motagne! That's his full name. Given to him at birth. Didn't make a lot of sense to me either. Here we go! The way is lit. The path is clear. We require only the strength to follow it. Well, sadly, we lose out a little bit on the extra crit chance by way of it being no longer in pitch blackness, but... Oh my god, poor luck on the books as well. Reduces the torchlight, but that's fine by me. So what do we get into here now? Shadowy. Higher player crits, but more accuracy and damage from the monsters. Let's see what we can do. Okay, man. I'm ready. This swine prince seems a little stronger than I anticipated him being. He is marked and debuffed, though. Okay, here we go. Should we blight him as well? He's got no blight resist. Ooh. That seems like a pretty damn good idea. Let's try to start stacking that stuff as much as possible. Let's try to buff up our leper as well. We're gonna have to heal him pretty soon here, I'm sure. Now, his stun chance is 100 against 100, so sadly that does nothing for us at all. That's unfortunate. <laughs> I wish I would've known that before I gave him these, but at least it's an accuracy buff. And that's not too much damage either. Okay, I think we're gonna be able to make it uh, through this in one piece. As long as Wilbur doesn't start critically striking, that would be the, uh, the one big issue. Uh, we might have to do some battlefield medicine here, actually. Yikes. Ooh, that is tough. Yeah, I think it's more worth it to uh, cure him up and prevent the stacking damage. Great hit there as well. Okay, we're uh, we're making some headway here, actually. Yeah, these guys are they're hitting well. Ooh, targeting the plague doctor. This will be interesting. We're gonna have to keep healing up here. Great stuff there. Nine health is not bad at all. Uh, let's Noxious Blast again. Why not? Given the opportunity. Oh, interesting. Oh, that's right. They're still marked. Yikes. Yeah, he hits hard again. Oh, God. Really can't afford to be missing shots right now. Mr. Leper. This is not ideal. Oh, boy. He's going to mark up the whole team, isn't he? Keep trying. Oh, damn. That stinks. Come on now, don't do this! Don't do this, there will be no blood left for the leeches! His buff is gone, which means his damage is not that great. We're getting close though, I might have to go all in with a little bit of help from the occultist and plague doctor. Oh, he's gonna be on death's door. And that's gonna probably put him there too. Ooh, he's got .1 health, alright then. Wow! That sucks! He's gonna die. I'm gonna lose my leper. Alright, he wasn't that good anyway. I kinda want him to die, honestly. He doesn't deserve to make it through with the kind of crap he's been pulling. Never mind, I love you! I love you, please stay. Please stay here, I love you so much. Noxious Blast? No, Battlefield Medicine. Gotta cure him up. Thank you. Alright, <laughs> we got him back. We're pulling him from the brink of insanity. Holy crap! Got him! Is even more horrible in death. Liquefaction cannot come soon enough. Okay. Oh, the triple stun from the squeal. Jesus. That is unnecessary. Can we kill him with a single smite? Probably not. I think he's, he might squeal Stanley to death. Is that going to happen? Oh, my goodness. Wow, dude. Ebbs. Terrible vistas of emptiness reveal themselves. All right, Stanley. It's your chance to prove your metal, buddy. Let's see it. Yeah, baby! I love it. I love you, Stanley. Never leave my side. I've already got bloody dice. I don't need those. Hell yes! I love it. I love it so. Take them all. We are out of here, baby. Look at that mask. Oh, yes! Decent gold pile up, too. About 17,000. I like it a lot. Got some crests for my troubles. Four resolve experience, which I was expecting a little more, but that's okay. 
to level one for all these guys. We gotta take them into the sanitarium there. They're not looking that good. Man, that was a lot more stressful than I anticipated it being, but I feel good now. Very nice. Got some quirks taken care of. Let's see if we finally get that grave robber we've been seeking. We didn't. Wow. That sucks. Alright, well, maybe one day. But for now, thanks for watching this episode of Darkest Dungeon. I hope you enjoyed. Leave a like if you did. I'll see you next time.